Good evening, I'm Antonio Rapa. Welcome to another session of Foundations on Political Thought. Today I would like to talk very briefly about a book that I have been reading for uh, several years. It's uh, this one, I know it's gonna, you're going to see it at the first for whatever reason, but it's uh, uh, Gilles Deleuze and Felix Guattari's uh, What is Philosophy? And this is a critical work. They begin uh, pretty much with a, an examination of the self, of themselves, uh, asking themselves this question, what is philosophy? Because they believe that they have reached an old age. An old age, uh, not as being physically weaker, but an age where they are running out of time. An age, chronologically, where they have to uh, decide on which ground they wish to stand. And despite having read so much, and despite having defended uh, uh, so much uh, territory and despite having acquired so much influence, uh, uh, Gilles Deleuze um, is still unable to determine uh, confidently uh, uh, what philosophy is about. It is a question he keeps asking all the time. And the reason why he lacks confidence is because he has to keep quoting so many different authors from Chateaubriand and some uh, other uh, poets and writers and uh, and uh, artists and so on and so forth. Uh, it seems to me that what is philosophy uh, uh, really is a transformation of the truth of what Gilles Deleuze actually know. According to the um, blurb at the back of the book, it says that uh, Gilles Deleuze was up till 1995 one of the leading thinkers in the Western world. He acclaimed his acclaimed works and celebrated collaborations with Felix uh, Guattare, established him as a seminal figure in the fields of literary criticism and philosophy. So this book, uh, uh, What is Philosophy, it appears to be the capstone to this philosophical achievement. The use of the word capstone is interesting because it seems be the crowning glory, but I am not really convinced that it is of their works. Uh, Deleuze and Guattari's differentiate between philosophy, science and the art, seeing each as a means of confronting chaos and challenge the common view that philosophy is an extension of logic. I'm not sure that their premise that philosophy is an extension of logic is one that is widely accepted today. I think for most post-modern theorists, uh, philosophy is in itself a circular form of logic and an extension of itself is by all means not an extension. According to the blurb again, the authors discuss the similarities and distinctions between creative and philosophical writing. Fresh anecdotes from the history of philosophy illuminate the book along with engaging discussions, composers, painters, writers and architects and so on and so forth. So, uh, like I said, I think uh, they provide uh, a range of really serious uh, um, uh, references uh, and uh, important names are dropped in uh, relevant and uh, effective places in order to support uh, their belief system. For example, according to uh, Deleuze and Guattari, the object of science is not concepts but rather functions that are presented as propositions in discursive systems. All right, so science is about language, like philosophy is about language. It's nothing new. And it's this kind of convoluted way of, of writing that they call philosophy and others support as philosophy. The elements of functions, they say, are called functives. A scientific notion is defined not by concepts, by functions on all propositions. This is a very complex idea. When people say this is a very complex idea, it means they're not really clear about the idea themselves. Uh, so the book, What is Philosophy? is something that I would uh, recommend uh, for you to read if you want to become, to get quite antagonistic about uh, some people trying to, I guess, make a living on a convoluted uh, way of uh, answering a simple question, what is philosophy, by reference to writers and artists such as uh, uh, 
Spinoza, uh, well, it's quite Paul Klee, he's famous. Kupka, Kandinsky, Mondria, uh, all these uh, important people, you know, uh, Masson, Julien, Nietzsche, Brechia, and uh, many others that uh, not everyone will know. And Child, Fay, uh, Ladro, and of course the uh, token reference to Hindu philosophy according to Masson Ocel. Footnote 5 on the Geo Philosophy. It is not a book that I would urge you to read if you had something better to read or a movie to watch. Deleuze in Gattari, um, I think, had too much time on their hands.